Harriman State Park. Owned by Union Pacific Railroad investors from 1902 to 1977, the park served as the private playground for some seriously rich families. 11,000 acres in the Greater Yellowstone ecosystem with over 20 miles of trails and the Henry's Fork of the Snake River meandering through makes for one hell of a getaway in eastern Idaho. The Railroad Ranch is the epicenter of Harriman State Park, where the wealthy E.H. Harriman stayed to get away from life in New York. The Railroad Ranch is worth the visit, but if you plan enough in advance, you can actually stay at the Railroad Ranch and experience Harriman State Park like a Harriman. Tell me about how the Harriman family plays into this and why this is called the Railroad Ranch. E.H. Harriman was the owner of the Union Pacific Railroad. He was invited to buy here and said, yeah, that sounds like a great idea back in 1908. And so did, did the railroad come through here? The railroad never came through here. The last thing they wanted was the trains to come right through their little sanctuary. What? I just wanted to do that and see if you could bring me some food. Well, it's not ready yet, Chad. Moose meat takes about three hours to roast, and I can't do it with just coal. So this is the one room that, to me, tells you how wealthy these people Elegant, really were. wealthy, yes. This is what Rene described as the picture of wealth in that time. And he doesn't even have Netflix. Rene, what did, what, did, what did Harriman do with his time besides look out windows and sit in fancy chairs? So they did crossword puzzles. The women did stitchery. Um, they played cards, maybe. This sounds like things that people do in jail. So besides Railroad Ranch, what else does Harriman State Park have to offer tourists? We have over 20 miles of hiking, biking, or horseback riding trails. So a lot of people come just to see the birds. Uh, hopefully they'll see a moose. I'm gonna get the moose scent on me to attract the moose. Okay, so people coming to Harriman State Park should also know that there's lots of accommodations that they can rent here. Absolutely, we have anything from a yurt and also the historic buildings. Some of them are available for rent. You can look up, you look that up online, um, or you can stop in our visitor center and get the information on what the prices are. They book up up to nine months in advance, and through the summer, it's hard to get in here because it's a very unique experience for people to stay in the historic ranch. So obviously, there's a bunch of stuff to do at Harriman State Park, and if you want to come down and experience it, this is the way to go. You can rent one of these old bunk houses and experience Harriman State Park like a Harriman. So reserving one of these bunk houses isn't as straightforward and easy as I thought it would be. Harriman State Park does not have a website. So if you want to reserve one of these bunk houses online, you go to idahostateparks.reserveamerica.com. You enter your location, Harriman State Park, and you are interested in camping. You can only book nine months out. So if you're trying to book 12 months out, you can't. Nine months is the max you can book out for. Search. Here is Harriman State Park book sites. Now here we go. We got the bunkhouse, the cattle foreman's, the dormitory. I found the website to be a little bit confusing and I had a ton of questions about Harriman State Park. So what I found was actually easiest was to call the Harriman Call Center. That number is listed here on the screen and I'm adding it to the descriptions below. They will answer all your questions and they can help you out. They can put you in the right bunkhouse. Most of these bunkhouses, they can hold about eight people. This is a great idea for multiple families to come to have a family reunion. I don't know, maybe rent out all the bunkhouses in the area. Buy up all of Harriman State Park and really do it like a rich Harriman would. Dear Petunia, it is a long and cold winter. We lost Georgie this year due to the flu. The railway has been closed for some time due to snow on the tracks. We have the servants clearing it now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe to our channel for weekly adventures in Idaho and beyond. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram. If you have any travel questions for us, we would love to see them in the comments section. And if you haven't watched Epic Idaho yet, make sure you head over to Visit Idaho and check it out. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.